So we will Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia, back once again. It's another episode of Tom and Jerry Sins, episode number 27, The Cat Concerto. So, the Sin glasses are on, you're welcome. And, uh, same rules apply. And, here we go. And any Academy Award winner gets a sin removed right out of the gate. How can he see where he's going with his eyes closed? Um, judging by the way this is being animated, you don't actually see the little screw things on the side of his stool. You don't actually see them moving. Right, number one, not sure if that's the right note he started on. Number two, how can he see what he's doing with his eyes closed? And number three, better recycled animation in now. And that would not be possible. Because that, I believe, would be a shirt. Not one of those vest top things, whatever you call it. I don't know. me. How can he not see the fact that he doesn't have the sheet music in front of him? Right, hang on, hang on. How can his feet not reach the pedals? I mean, I, I get it, he's shorter than normal, but surely they should take it into consideration if he can't reach the pedals. And if he can't reach the pedals, how is he supposed to do the, um, all the, like, prolonging effects like you, you see on other pianos? I mean, fellow musicians will know what I'm on about. You know, you know the pedals that help prolong the bass notes? Tom can't reach them, so how is he able to do this? Right, number one, why is Jerry sleeping inside a piano? Number two... Two, Tom does not have that many hands, which means number three, this effect does not work. Also, how can Jerry not feel this? Seventeen. That's seventeen sins for seventeen low blows to Jerry with... The, uh, piano hammers. Also, now he wakes up? All you had to do was look inside the piano and find Jerry there. Don't act so surprised, Tom. Now that is one against me because I think I just muted it. Jerry, you are not the conductor of the show. Wouldn't Jerry need a trip to the vet at this point? And that's game over. Bye bye, folks. Also, How is the audience not aware of Jerry's presence? How? Delayed reaction after being hit on the head cliche.
right, that does it. I must do something about this. Fake gunshot on point of impact cliche. Right, how does that piano have a mouse door in it? You had six opportunities to cut his finger off, Jerry, and you missed every single one, so that six sins out of the gate there. Also, why not keep them open, and then as soon as he presses, just snap, there you go! Goodness me, that got dark very quickly. And you are out of breath. Seriously? Right, I am going to sort this out once and for all! Yeah, no, just no. And do I call that unrealistic physics? Yes, I shall. That is unrealistic physics. His finger would not inflate like a balloon. And that's not how the music is going, so this animation does not work. And his fingers are not Stretch Armstrong. And that's definitely not possible with this. I heard that in a previous episode, I'm trying to think what it is. Hey guys, Kenzie Retro here. Uh, so yeah, after doing a bit of research, it turns out the music that was used in uh, that particular section is a song that goes by the tune of On the Edge, Santa Peg, Around the Santa Fe. Used in 1946, interestingly. Just a few months before this episode was released. So. Just, well, who'd have thought being able to do the research would actually help me in establishing what uh, the music actually was? Dooby doodly on the edge of Santa Baker around the sand of fate. You're welcome. He is right there. As soon as he comes up, grab him. Four attempts later! How are his feet keeping him on the stool? Delayed reaction before falling cliche. And he's definitely not going to be able to play the piano anymore at this point. Oh, come on! Nope! Could the roof physics be any more unrealistic at this point? You have the piano hammers spank 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 spanking Jerry, that's four sins! That's just unacceptable in this day and age, come on! Hop! Hop! Also, recycled animation. More recycled animation! And his tail wouldn't stretch that far. How many more recycled animation segments are you gonna have?! No, he should definitely be knocked out by this point. Oh, time to get a new piano! That's a definite no-no! Let's double the sin count! Are you serious, guys? Could you have any more recycled animation? Oh my word, how long is this going to take?!
I'll take a sin off for having the endurance to be able to do that. Now, how did Jerry find the exact same clothes that Tom was wearing? <laughs> Beggars belief that it's Jerry that takes all the credit for the entire performance. When it was Tom that was the headline act the entire show! There we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for uh, that episode. And oh my word. At the start of the episode, I was worried we weren't going to have that many. But oh boy, business picked up. And we did not disappoint. As always. We, we, we did not disappoint. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Next episode will follow shortly. If you enjoyed what you saw, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latter day Saints notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Podcast on the left, playlist on the right, onto the blooper reel. And until the next episode, I shall see you guys very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Stay faithful, as always. And... If you enjoyed what you saw, if you, as always, fridge. Now, how did Tom? Nope. And a delayed reaction from falling. Nope. Delayed reaction.